Hey everyone, Sheldon here, and I just figured I'd make a video on this project that I started several months ago, but recently picked it up again because I figured I could make some videos on it. So this is actually going to be a paper phone case, a very overly engineered and durable paper phone case. And this piece here is actually made up out of two different components. So it's basically two pieces that fit together like a puzzle and they're held in place with these little wooden sticks for now until I can find something a little bit stronger. So to get these pieces apart, basically you just push on the little wooden piece and it comes out of the other side like that. And then you just take these out and then these come apart just like that. I decided to make this phone case using this method because I wanted to be able to put it together and take it apart pretty easily. And all the other ways I thought about making a paper phone case didn't really seem like it would work very well. Like my phone case right now is just this flexible plasticky rubber stuff and you can just peel it away from the phone and it comes off. But paper, although it can flex, it doesn't flex as much as this. And I really wouldn't want to put some hard paper under constant stress by peeling it away from the phone. And I looked on the internet at a bunch of wooden phone cases and they kind of seem to use the same principle as this, but instead of three pieces like this, it was just one piece that came out of here and then went into here and then just kind of latched itself into place using the flexibility of the wood but all of the wooden phone cases I saw had little cutouts for where the buttons go, which means the actual button on the phone is exposed. And I didn't really want that because dirt will get in there or you'll just be wearing down on the button. It could get scratched, you know, stuff like that. So to avoid that, I just went ahead and designed this. Like I said, it's overly complicated, but I think it's gonna look pretty sweet when it's done. And I plan on actually making mechanical buttons for this so the real button of the phone won't be exposed so it's just going to be a piece of paper or a cylinder i haven't really figured it out yet but it'll push on the actual button and not allow any debris to get in there and it won't scratch the surface i'm just going to show you guys really quick a closer view of how the side works so I'm just going to zoom in here you can see these slots here go all the way through it's just a matter of getting everything lined up separately and then putting them together. So this all isn't perfectly smooth yet, but before I actually do the last final steps, these are gonna be nice and smooth. And you can see this wooden piece can go all the way through here like that. And that's how it locks in place. And it's the same thing for this side, just go straight through like that. So when both of these pieces are together, the wooden piece just keeps them together. And obviously I have two to kind of maximize that effect. And what I'm planning on doing next for this project is just putting these together and then putting these in place. I'm just gonna start taking 16 layer pieces like this and glue one here like that. Obviously it'll match the outside edge of this bottom piece. Then I'm just gonna take another one and glue it to the top portion. So this piece here wouldn't be glued to these bars here. And I would also do the exact same thing to the other side, just one here and one here. And I'm doing that because this actually has a little bit of wiggle room. And if I actually take one of these pieces and put it here and really just kind of hold it down, that wiggle room goes away quite a bit. And if it was glued to all four areas, then it would just be two separate components, but these bars wouldn't be able to move nearly as much because they're glued over, not glued to, but glued over. So that's obviously gonna make this a little bit thicker which is kind of funny because this is just the bottom of the phone case, just the base. The walls are a whole other thing. So with the walls, they're just gonna be on here like this. And this actually needs to be cut in half because these are gonna be two separate components, but they're just gonna 
stack up like that and form a box shape around it. They both actually need to be a little taller. This one's even shorter than this one. But what I'm gonna do is take my phone here without the phone case on there and just make sure everything's centered and lined up. And if I turn it around over here, you can see all three of these buttons and where they are on this side of the phone anyway. So I'm just gonna transfer lines onto this wall and figure out how much paper I need to remove to put the buttons in place. And like I said, this wall does need to be taller, but when it does reach the right height and all the walls are glued on there, I'll be able to take a piece like this and just glue it sort of like the same thing I showed you earlier, just halfway on there, but it's gonna have a cutout here so I'm still able to access the screen. So this will all make sense as you guys see more update videos on this. Basically, it's just gonna be two box shapes that go around the phone and then come apart like that, and that's how you take the phone out and put it back in. And there are a few different things I have to think about while making this, which is, you know, how am I gonna keep those two pieces together? I think I have a method right now I'm just gonna screw a plate in place that will sort of mend those together because I can see I have enough space here for a screw, which is between those buttons. It can't interfere with that stuff, but that's just the complex things you run into when you're making something overly complicated. But you know, it's all just for fun in this case. I just wanted to, you know, have a bit of a challenge and I kind of wanted the whole thing to be pretty bulky and just square shaped because it kind of reminds me of a old Game Boy, like the original gray one. I think that would look pretty cool. So yeah, that's basically it for that. And soon enough, you guys are gonna see a tutorial on how to make the magazine out of paper for the Paper M1911. This is the real magazine right here, made out of metal, but I'm actually working on the paper one for a video right now, and I just have to wait for all these paper pieces to dry because you know you have to make a mold and then wrap paper around it to make the magazine but you guys will see that when the video comes out. I'm trying to stay on top of filming videos and stuff but I just run into a bunch of problems like having to wait for things to dry or something doesn't work out like I think it's going to but you know I'm trying my best and I'm having fun with it. So thanks for watching this video, you guys. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or in a personal message. And be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see all the latest updates. And I'll see you guys in the next video.